Hello and welcome back to Reapers. Today we're in our KA-50 Black Shark. We're looking at the KH-25ML Laser Designated Missile. It's a thumping great missile with a great big warhead on it. Regards ranging, it has a minimum range and a maximum range. Yeah, the maximum range is around about 14 and a half kilometers before she runs out of juice. As a minimum range, uh, range I would generally recommend not less than about 4 kilometers because she is quite big and sluggish and it's gonna take a little bit uh, to get on track. Right, so to arm up our intercom as ever to ground crew, armament screen, pylons 1 and 4, missiles, cage 25 ml. Arm up. Ensure that we have this switch here, here which is our armament switch. Without that turned on, nothing of this is going to work. Let's go and look at some of the controls now. Now we're going to need quite a lot of controls today because we've got to use our scroll to find a target. So to fire the missile, we're going to have weapon release to choose inboard, outboard stations, uh, weapon select if you like, outboard stations, inboard stations, or all stations. Well, for our scroll, we can target lock, we can target, we can slew up, left, down, and right. We can uncage the scroll, we can reset the scroll. If we wanted to, we've got a hell mounted tracking system there that we can use to uh, slave the Schwal to. And as ever, our trimmer that we're going to need for general flight. That's all we're going to need to fire these missiles. We've got our targets about two miles over there, some ground targets. But bearing in mind the minimum distance we talked about, we're going to have to fly to the left hand side of the airbase to get the enough distance away. So, what we're going to do is take off now, get in a hold about five miles. Oh, sorry, kilometers away, find the targets, and then we'll report back. Okay, we're now hovering at just about the right range from the hostiles. The hostiles are over there. I think Stahl's had a pot shot already. So what we're going to do next is to acquire a target lock with our Schwal. Now, we've already done a video regarding Schwal's and how to target lock, so we're not going to go through it. We're just going to get on with it and do it. So we're going to uncage our Schwal, find the targets, laser ranging on, there, there they are. Let's zoom in. Uh, why don't we get that chap there? Target lock. We've got TA. We've got a target lock. 6.9 clicks away, so it's uh, within perfect range. Auto turn on, so we can turn our vehicle towards it. Next, we're going to get our weapons armed up. Master arm on. Out of interest, we can fire two at the same time with long uh, bursts if you wanted, but that would be a bit silly, so we're not going to do that. We're going to select the outer pylons, which are our missiles. You can see guided missile there, and we've got two of them selected. Regards range, there is a ranging circle here. That is zero range. That is minimum range. That is maximum range. Note that this ranging circle at the time of making this video, to February 2019, is not accurate. It's saying that the maximum range of this missile is 7 kilometers. That's not correct. It's actually 14 kilometers. Uh, we've tried it out, so um, just bear that in mind. We've got our launch authority. We can fire because we've got a C, but in reality, we don't want to fire yet because we haven't actually designated the target. We've ranged it. We found it on the Shkval, but we need to designate a laser target for this missile to work. So to do that, we're going to open this chap here. We're going to move this switch to the left. Now that says standby. What it actually means is designate. Uh, so that's something to bear in mind. Now at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to press target lock again. And that is going to start the designation process. What we'll see then is a countdown roughly here, and it's going to count down. And this, this reticle here is going to flash. When it stops flashing, the target is designated, and we can fire. So let's get that done now. Target lock. Flashing, and we're just going to wait. And yep, it's solid now, so we can fire. And off she goes. Simple as that. Really easy to use and uh, got a really, really good range on them. Now what we'd like to show is that we can have this missile, my missile that I fired, designated by a third party laser, buddy lasing, and that will be Stahl. He's over there somewhere, or over there, he is near me somewhere. And so we're going to use his laser to designate the target, and I'm going to fire and it'll track onto his laser. So what I'm going to do first of all is turn my laser off so there's no chance of conflict. That off there and my laser ranging off. So I'm completely reliant on Stahl's laser now. Okay, which target do you want to go for, Stahl? How about the one on the very left? Is that good? Oh, I'll surprise you. Uh, does it matter? Do I have to aim at the same one as you? Uh, negative. You don't even need to have your squall on. Wow, that's amazing. Just turn your squall off and, and select your missile. So 
But how do I know if I even fire right? You know, I need to fire in the right area, roughly. Yeah, but you're facing the right area, roughly, because you know what target you're looking at anyway. Okay. You're, well, you're already looking there. Star wants me to turn my um, my target system off completely, so I'm gonna have to just take his word for it. So I'm now just completely dumb firing at this bunch of targets, and hopefully it's gonna designate his target right. right. So one thing to note, by the way, if you do designate, uh, you will need a bit of a cooldown time between lasing. Mm -hmm. um, so as soon as a big Russian pausa will start to flash over your screen, you'll have to wait until the countdown reaches zero before you can actually laser. Otherwise, you're gonna fry your laser. Um, and all you're waiting for basically now is you'll see your reticle start to flash just as it would as if you uh, designated your And as soon as it goes solid again you can fire. So are you ready? Nope, stand by. Selecting weapon. Okay, so my uh, reticle is just bore sighted at the moment and I'm waiting for it to flash. Alright, so lazing. Maybe not. Lazing. There we go. And cap. Do I, when do I fire? When it's solid? Yep, now? Yes. Fire! That was pretty cool. The boomy. That was jolly fun. Right, I didn't think it was going to work, but it did work. So all I had to do was fire that missile roughly, or aim it at least, roughly in the right place, and uh, everything worked. Hmm, interesting. Alright, so you want to... Fuck one of those guys up with two missiles at one. Have you got two, yeah? <laughs> okay, so Star wants to fire, show firing two missiles at once. So I'm going to go and find his chopper now. I'm still waiting for a countdown unless you want to lease from me. And I'm going to try lasing for Stahl. So let me just get my plane settled again. File on. Okay, a target. Yeah, my laser on. My laser to designate. Okay, are you ready for me to designate style? So I'm pressing designate now. Countdown going. Do you have it? I do. There we go. Tell me when you fire, please. I did fire. Oh, are they going to work? Are they going to work? Oops, I went for a bad. I didn't realise I went for it. <laughs> Thought he was alive. Okay, so <laughs> that's that. That is me lazing, and you can see we've got the powers are here, so we're in cooldown now with the powers, aren't we? Yep. That's fine. Right, I'm going to turn that off anyway, because we need to do that. So that is KH25 MLs, firing them for me and me self laid designating them, having someone else designate for me and me firing onto that designation, and having me designate for Stahl and Stahl firing onto my designation. Let me get a quick look at laser codes. Uh, it's just a little selector underneath, directly straight down from the master arm base. There's a big black knob that says A and T, 1, 2, and 3. So there's three different laser codes you can use. I see. I can't. In case you want to declutter it. I can't turn that knob. Aim, two, aim a little bit above, it's a bit weird. Oh, I see. Yeah, right. Oh, so that's our laser code. Laser code 1, 2, or 3. And that's so that we don't conflict then, presumably. Yep. So uh, what we could have done there is I could have gone to laser code 3 and you could have gone to laser code 3 and you would have still been able to find my designation. Yep. Interesting. Right. Very good stuff. Big missiles. Go out and fire your KH-25s. Have fun. Other than that, we'll see you later.